Hey, last but not least, I want to show you the video timer feature of Charles Engine, which allows you to fire scripts mid-video or during video playback. And one way that you know this could be used is to show a picture of cute dog during the actress singing. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now and here. So, I've already prepared uh, the scene. It's a dialogue scene, it's been initialized with Charles Engine and it includes here one tree with one video we want to, you know, do the magic on. And here, uh, take notice of this small stopwatch. And this is where the video timer stuff happens. So I'll just click it to bring up the video timer screen and it shows us the list of all the time events that, uh, we, that's, that are happening on the video. So I'll just add, add one. And as you can see here, it has like three properties. The one is listener, which will include the script we want to play. Uh, the other is time, quite like self-explanatory, the time when the script should fire, and then repeat on end. We'll get to that later. But for now, we want to create script. We don't have one at hand, so Charles Engine already offers us to create one. So like, okay, let's go. And it created a script here in the scripts. Uh, but we want actually to use two, and I'll get back to here, uh, and let's create a second one. So we have two scripts there, prepared to be used, and now let's fill them with some functionality. So, we want to show the picture of a dog, right? So we need a picture of a dog. Uh, it's kind of lucky that in our sample package we include a picture of a dog. It's Charlie, uh, she's office good girl of Charles Games, uh, we love to develop with her. And uh, I will just easily drag and drop her here from the project window into the scene root. Remember, every uh, object we want to manipulate should go into scene root. So it's here, we see it in a scene view, uh, we should see it in our game view as well. But uh, right now we can't do much with her, right? Much with the picture because, as previously said, we need to have a CE game object here. CE game object, a component right on the, the, the object with the sprite. So let's click it. And we want to add some fancy fade-ins and fade-outs, but Charles Engine has you sorted. So let's go and let's Google or search for fading. We're there, search for fade-out. And uh, the funny thing about fading and fade-outs is that they will automatically get fired when the CE game object is hidden or shown. So you don't have to worry about that. The last thing we need to do is to set the initial visibility of our dock object here to hidden, to false, because we want to show her manually during the video playback, right? So, like, we need to show her here. Yeah. And to be sure she shows on the top of the video, we need to check the additional settings and sorting layer settings here, where we will click on default and change it to above a video, so to make sure that she will show up on the top, topest layer in our project. So we have those two scripts here now. Uh, the one will be used to show the picture of a dog and the other one to hide it. So we've already seen this happen before, but let's just like quickly rename it. Uh, show dog. And where, 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 when we are into it, uh, just hide dog. We've already prepared, uh, the Charles engine already prepared for us the multi script component, which is handy because it allows us to easily fire multiple scripts, but we will just gonna be using one and that's add component and that's simple script because all we need to do is manipulate a simple method on the dark object, um, specifically on its CE game object component, and we'll just go plus and drag and drop dog here and go with function, CE game object, and then what we want to do, we want to go show. And it will also automatically fade it in. Then let's go do let's go to do the same for the high dog. Let's go to amp co add components, simple script, plus and dog. Drag and drop, or we can just like use this little button or enter to like use the drop down menu. You perhaps you know the drill by now. And let's go to the list of methods and go to the CE game object and hide. And it should automatically fade out. Now we have our scripts and our object set. Uh, so let's go back to dialogues to clean up and finish. Edit and let's click on a stopwatch to bring up the Charles Engine video timer menu. And the first show doc, uh, we need to you know decide uh, you know at which point in the video we want to show it. 
I guess like one second is fine. So like after one second of playback, it will show. And then when it we when we want to hide it, we'll suppose after like one full second of being on the screen, so that would be like one plus one. So let's go with two. So we will have like a or or three. Let's go with three. So we have two seconds of dog time. That should be enough. The last thing is repeat on it. Uh, it's not as important here, but if you want to make sure the time event will happen uh, when your player skips the video with spacebar, uh, you need to click it. And it doesn't make sense, you know, to click it in the show dog because if somebody skips the video before the dog is shown, it like it has no effect. But we want to make sure it's on the hide dog because if somebody would skip the video like mid dog, we want to make sure the dog is hidden either way. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And now we should be all set, so we can test it out. So let's go with play, and let's watch if the good girl will appear. Smelly cat, oh, smelly cat, what oh, are they feeding you? Smelly cat. So that was video timer customization feature of Charles Engine. It allows you to do much more stuff mid-video, because previously you've seen we've only manipulated stuff like before and after videos, but this allows you to like, you know, uh, use scripts whenever you want. And that's all from me, from Andre. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey into the depths of, uh, very inviting depths of FMV development with Charles Engine. And as always, if you make something out of it, please do give us a shout out on Twitter or Facebook or give us an email because we are eager to see your projects and all you can do with our engine. I'm looking forward and we wish you happy FMV game making.